what is up guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can set up an automation that extracts reviews from amazon using apify and make.com let's get started i'm going to use apify to extract amazon reviews so search for apify and create an account and after creating an account head over to apify store now apify is an incredible tool with pre-built actors or tools that you can use to scrape any website or automate projects if you would like to extract reviews i'll search for amazon reviews then click on search then here you will see the various tools that you can use to scrape reviews from amazon product pages in this case we're going to use this tool to scrape reviews you'll be taken right here to our tool so here's where you'll add the url of amazon's product that you like to scrape reviews from then after pasting the url of the product here you can choose the maximum reviews per product so here you can choose three or four or five reviews to extract you can sort reviews by top reviews or most recent review you can also choose to filter by ratings keywords and dates so filter by ratings you, are, you can choose all stars or five star and, or you can also search by keyword and you can add the keyword right here you can also get reviews since a specific date in other settings you can choose the language and the proxy country over here but i'm going to leave it as english and as automatic based on amazon domain to scrape the reviews of this specific product i'm going to click on save and start You can see that our tool right here is running. You can see right here, our tool succeeded in scraping five reviews from the product that we added on the URL. Now we can choose to set up an automation on Make that scrapes Amazon reviews and adds the reviews to a Google spreadsheet. To do that, on Make, I've created a new scenario and renamed it to Amazon Scraper to extract reviews from Amazon products. Here, I'll search for Apify, then click on Apify. I'd like to run an actor, so I'll select Run an actor. Here, you'll need to create a connection between a Make and Apify. To do that, you will have to click on Add, rename your connection, and then add the API token from Apify to here. Now you'll get the API token just by going back to Appify and clicking on settings and then api and integration then you can copy your api token over here now since i had already created a connection i'm going to close and select my connection then for the actor i'm going to click on the amazon reviews actor and here i'm going to run synchronously then here i'll need to input our json back to our tool i'll click on actor Then where it says input, click on JSON. Then here, we're going to copy our JSON, copy it. Then I'll search for a JSON formatter tool and paste our JSON right here and click on process to format our JSON. Now, after our JSON is formatted, I'm going to copy it and head over to make and paste our JSON over here. And then I'll click on okay. So another module that I will add right here on Appify is a get dataset item on the dataset ID. I will add the default dataset ID right here. And here we can limit our reviews that we would like to five. And then click on OK. Now to extract reviews of this specific product, which is Apple iPhone 64 GB from Amazon, I'm going to run our scenario. see it's running over here and when we go back to apify and click on runs you can see that our tool is also running on appify so here you can see finished scraping the reviews and the status was a success now when we click on get data set item module you will see all the details of our product so you can see the review description you can see the review title the ratings the review url you can see the variant we are also getting the second review the third review the fourth review and the fifth review of this specific product 
Now we can choose to add the reviews to a Google spreadsheet. I've created a Google spreadsheet to collect the reviews. I've renamed our spreadsheet to scraping sheet. Here is where we are going to add the reviews that we collect for a specific product that we scrape from Amazon. So here we have a column for the product, ASIN, rating, description, published at country, variant, verified position, and the URL of the review. Here, I'll search for Google Sheets, then click on add a row. Here, I'll choose our spreadsheet. So our spreadsheet is scraping sheet. Our sheet name is sheet one. Then we can add the values of the column that we are adding to our Google spreadsheet. So the product ASIN, we're adding the product ASIN over here. The rating, can add the rating score. Description, can add the review description. Published at, we can add the date over here. Country, we can add the country. The variant, we can add the variant. Verified, you can say it's verified. Position, we can add the position over here. And then here we can add the URL of the review, which is a review URL right here, and click on OK. Now, let us see if you're going to add the reviews of our product to our Google spreadsheet. To do that, I'm going to run our automation again and wait for our actor to run and scrape the reviews from Amazon. Over here, that our tool ran successfully. And here it scraped our reviews. So we got five reviews of our product and we added the reviews to our Google Sheet over here. Now, when we open our Google spreadsheet, you'll see our review over here. But we'll need to first of all format our spreadsheet. We're getting the product ASIN. We're getting the ratings over here, the description, the date the review was posted, the country, the variant, we're getting the position, and the URL to the review of our product over here. That we are collecting from Amazon using the simple automation that we just set up right here on Make. Now, instead of adding specific product URLs from Amazon manually, you can add the URL to the products on a Google spreadsheet. So here, we can copy this URL. And then on our spreadsheet, we can choose to add a new column to the left. And this one, we can call it product URL. We can add specific product URLs to like to extract reviews from Amazon. In automation, on Google Sheet, I'll search for watch new rows, then add it right here. Then this will be our trigger. And then how to align it. Here, I'll search for a spreadsheet. So our spreadsheet is called scraping sheet. And then the sheet name is sheet one. For the limit, you can limit it to, let's say, one, since we're only scraping reviews of one product at a time, then click on OK. Here you can choose all, then click on OK. Now, here, instead of adding the URL manually, all we're going to add right here is the product URL, then click on OK. You can also choose the number of reviews that you like to extract. You can say five, you can even say 10 if you want, then click on OK. All you have to do is just add only the product URLs right here on our spreadsheet that you like to extract the reviews from Amazon. To run automation, we'll first of all need to update our columns. So the first column will be for the product URL. So we're going to start adding our data from the column two. So here, this one will be the product ASIN. The, the rating, we're going to add it over here. So it'll be for the description. The published art will be this one. The country will be this column. The variant will be the variant will be this one. The verified column will be this one right here. The position will be this one right here. Then the URL we're going to add it right here. The URL. Click on OK and then Save automation, run it.
So as you can see, that automation ran successfully. Here, we got our product URL, and then our tool ran successfully. Then we got our reviews over here. So we're getting a total of 10 reviews, and we're adding the 10 reviews to our Google spreadsheet over here. When we go back to our spreadsheet, you can see we are adding reviews to our Google spreadsheet. So we are starting from column number two, like we did over here. So the first column is where we're adding the product URL. The second column is for the product ASIN. And we're, calling, and we're continuing later with the rating, the description, the published, the country, the variant, the verified, the position, and the URL columns. So with this simple automation, we are automating the process of scraping Amazon reviews for a specific product and adding the reviews to a Google spreadsheet, like this one right here. This is the data that we're choosing to add to our Google spreadsheet after we have scraped the reviews of a specific product. With, all you have to do is just add the URL of the products over here and you'll get the specific reviews of that specific product. This is a simple automation that extracts reviews of specific products from Amazon using Apify and make.com. If you have an automation or a system in mind that you'd like to scrape, just comment down below in the comment section. Then if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to set up the entire automation from scratch but for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.